Hi guys, it's John of Jade Village Millinery and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and while you're down there, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when we release videos in future. And a quick shameless plug while I'm here, um, last week I announced some workshops in March, so head along to the description box and it will list all of my workshops. I'll also link it above so you can click on that, it will take you to the video which each workshop is described more in detail. And remember, if you actually book by the end of November, you will actually get 10% off by entering the code HATS10 at checkout. So this week we are going to be looking at turbans. So initially I was planning on doing like a full head turban, but you know, there seems to be a bit of a trend with the turbans and everybody's doing turbans and I think in spring, summer next year, especially in the UK, we're going to see a lot more turbans because we've seen a lot in spring racing in Australia. So I have a feeling that spring, summer 18, we in the UK, we're definitely going to see a lot of turbans. Now, I wanted to do my own little twist on a turban. I wanted to do a more of a cocktail hat turban as opposed to the full head turban and this is what we actually came up with so it is a it's a cocktail hat shape um, it's a cocktail hat size it's just finished off like you would a turban now this doesn't require any hat box at all we actually use the head of a mannequin polystyrene head to actually block the shape of this um, the base is thermoplastic so once again we're using thermoplastic and pretty much you can use any fabric that you have to do this. Now, this fabric is quite, it's quite slippery, so it was tricky to work with, um, especially adding the bias binding on the edge. You've got to be so careful when you're sewing that because it picks up your little stitches. It, you can see the stitches. So if you've not really worked with this sort of fabric before, I'm not very good with fabrics. I mean, fabric choices are my worst thing. Somebody needs to do my fabric shopping for me because I think, like, oh, that's pretty. And I don't think necessarily about how it's going to work in the piece um, in terms of it's like silky or whatever. And I've always been bad with that. But I made it work and this is what we ended up with. So if you want to see how we made this, then keep on watching. So for this tutorial, it's very easy to make. There's not a lot of equipment, there's not a lot of materials. So all you would need is a meter of fabric and a little bit of thermoplastic enough to make a base. If you don't have thermoplastic, you could easily use buckram. The equipment you're going to need is basically a polystyrene head or if you don't have a polystyrene head and you've got a block which is more of a head shape then use that as well. So to start you need to block your thermoplastic over the polystyrene head making sure that you've covered the head in cling film before you do any blocking which as you can see in this video I actually forgot to do this. I like to steam my thermoplastic into shape so if you want to see how I do this click the link above which shows you how I do this step and it was literally last week so it's a chance to see last week's video as well. Once this is fully steamed and set into shape leave this to dry completely before removing. Now this is dry you need to mark out your base and cut away any of the excess fabric. Then you need to edge the base with some sprung wire and this will help give it some support. Now I use a blanket stitch to ensure that the wire sits right on the edge of the base so it doesn't have any more bulk on that edge of the base. Take your fabric and measure and cut a square of fabric big enough to cover the base. Take this and drape over the base and gently pull the fabric on the bias making sure it's taut and pin this into place but you don't want to pull it too tight otherwise it will distort the shape of the base. Don't worry about any pleating or creasing as we'll be covering this but try to get the tip of the crown section pleat and crease free because you will be able to see this but if there's pleats on the edge if there's creases on the edges a little tuck don't worry we will be hiding this later on once you're happy with this stitch it into place and remove any excess fabric with the remaining fabric 
cut some bias strips around three inches wide and if you on this channel you really should know what bias fabric is if you don't bias fabric is where it has been folded on the exact diagonal and what I would do is fold it into the diagonal cut some off and you've got your fabric ready and then just measure three inches from that cut edge up all the way along and there you've got your three inch bias strip take a strip and arrange it on the base as shown this will be the center fold of the piece so ensure your positioning doesn't show any creasing of the fabric on the crown we folded the strip in half and pin this into place you'll see that we only pin one end down though and not the other this is because one end will overlap all the rest and we won't be able to pin the other ends down if we've sewn the full down length down sew this into place and remove any pins that you've put in repeat this with all the other strips until you have finished making sure you leave one edge not sewn down on each strip now we need to deal with the bias strips that are not sewn down so starting with the center one pull this slightly over the other ends as seen in the video and pin this into place now you need to pull it slightly taut but not too taut once again it will distort the shape of the crown keep checking your placement every time you put one into place and just keep pinning checking pinning checking until you get right to the end and once it's all pinned down sew a basic stitch around the full edge of the base securing all the fabric and trim away any excess Popping a lining, once again securing the edge of the lining to the edge of the base and cut away any excess. With this fabric that we used in this piece, it was too pretty to um, gather together in the centre. I wanted to show that fabric as well, so that's why we put some tucks and some um, pleats at the edge. Don't worry, you know, it's it's a lining. As, as long as it looks pretty, it doesn't matter how you put in your lining, there are ways of putting in line in you know people are like oh it's not done properly but you know th it's, this is a creative industry this is what we do we you know we're allowed to break the rules just because somebody says you do it this way doesn't necessarily mean you have to do it that way do what works for you and then finally take a bias strip of fabric and make a length of bias binding pin this around the edge and sew into place we used a clear thread and a beading needle so any sew marks on the fabric would be eliminated now we did see some of them still but it was very little and very minimal then you need to add either some hat elastic to secure to the head or you could even pop a comb in so it sits at that nice jaunty angle and it's got some support so there you go cocktail hat turban and if you wanted to make this into an actual turban then all you would need to do is find a block which has a similar shape but larger something that would sit nicely on the head what i would probably do is block the base first and then try it on to make sure it fits on the head make any adjustments and then obviously start with the wire and the edging and, and placing the fabric on top because you don't want to be putting everything on and then try it on and it doesn't actually fit let me know in the comments down below if you'll be trying this and if you do make sure you send me some pictures because I do like it when my subscribers send me images of hats that they're working on, hats that they have taken inspiration from my videos. I really appreciate it and I do respond to everybody as best that I can. Make sure you follow me on all my social media. So I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Snapchat and I'm also on Patreon as well. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week.